Okay, hello parents. I know there have been a lot of questions about how to get a pairing code and how to get your own Canvas account as a parent so that you can watch everything that is going on in your child's Canvas account. You can see all of the assignments, you can see all of the postings and all of that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To get a pairing code for your child's account, the first place you need to start is you actually need to start in your child's account. So this is actually my child's account. This is his Canvas dashboard. He is also a student at Greenspun, so this makes it really easy to demonstrate. So when your child is logged into Canvas, right up here, you just need them to click where it says account and then settings. So right up here in the top left-hand corner, account and settings. And then right over here on the bottom right-hand side, just above where my head is, you'll see the link where it says pair with observer. Now that's gonna generate your pairing code, the code that you're gonna need in order to link your account and your child's account. Now I'm gonna put my face over here in the middle because when I click pair with observer, it's actually gonna load my child's pairing code and I wanna keep that private. But just trust me, that code is right underneath my face right now. And it's very important that uh, it is case sensitive, so make sure that the capital letters you type in capitals and lowercase in lowercase. Once you have that pair with observer code, now it's time to go and make your own uh, Canvas account. So to do that, you are going to go to the CCSD Canvas page. Now, I don't even remember what the URL is for that. It certainly isn't CCSD Canvas, that would be too easy. So I'm just going to Google CCSD Canvas and that is going to help me find the Canvas page for the Clark County School District. And there's some great information on the Canvas page that they've left here for us in order to learn uh, all about Canvas and how to create this Observer account. Uh, but the one that you need is right here, Canvas CCSD login. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. There's four different logins, obviously, for students, educators, parents, and others. Uh, we are parents, so we're gonna click right here where it says Parent Login. And this is where you have to uh, alter the URL just a little bit because we are such a large school district that during distance learning, Canvas actually had to split us up into four different servers, an elementary server, a middle school server, a high school server, and then an other server for some other schools that don't quite fit those other three categories. So before you click parents get accounts too, we need to point to the correct server. That's why you were getting invalid errors before is because uh, Canvas didn't know that your child was in middle school. We have to tell Canvas that we want the middle school server. So you're just gonna click right up here in the URL up at the top where it says ccsd.instructure.com, et cetera. Right before this first C in CCSD, you need to type the letters MS for middle school. I know that seems really strange, but that will direct us to the middle school server. And you'll know that you're here on the middle school server because the URL has changed up there in the address bar. And now we don't have that beautiful uh, photograph of uh, Red Rock Canyon in the background. It's just a plain background here. So if you don't already have your Canvas account, you need to create an account right here. So you will type in your name, your email address, make a good password, re-enter it, and then right down here at the bottom, this is where you will uh, type in exactly as it appeared on your child's account, that student pairing code. And because you have redirected this URL to go to the middle school server, your uh, pairing code will be valid. Now, let me just show you really quickly what that looks like once you are logged in and paired. Uh, this is uh, my Canvas account now, my parent Canvas account, uh, and it is paired with my son's. And you notice how very similar it is to my son's Canvas account. Uh, when he's logged in uh, and looking at his dashboard, we both see the same classes, we see the same assignments, the same assignment updates. So it is uh, like I'm just following him and uh, and I'm able to access all of the same things that, that he is. So that's how you make a pairing uh, account, pair your Canvas account with your child's. It's fairly easy. As always, if you need any help with any of this technology uh, stuff during distance learning, please, please, please submit a tech help request from our website that enables us to be able to help you as quickly as we possibly can. We have a team of people working on that so we can uh, make sure that we get to your help requests as quickly as possible. Okay, everybody have fun making uh, your own Canvas account and pairing that with your child's. Thank you.